welcome to our Play-Doh kitchen. So Miss Kati is going to make Play-Doh for you. Hi. And if you want to make some Play-Doh at home, we have the recipe for you as well. So step by step, how are we going to make it? So the first thing we need is two cups of flour. So then after we put the flour, we need one cup of salt. Salt. Then we add the cream of tartar. So what you have right now, two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Two. You might want to know what is cream of tartar for? Cream of tartar is very, very important. It stabilizes your uh, Play-Doh, and without that, it will, it, it will become very, very sticky very fast. And uh, you really don't want this to be around your house if it's that sticky. So um, then we are going to add two tablespoons of oil. and water. So it takes two cups of water. The uh, 12 days in. A good idea is if you put that color that you want to use, you can use food color. So at school we usually use the watercolor, but this right here is the egg dye. Works perfect. So Miss Kati is adding some of that color to the water. And then she is going to add it to the flour mixture. And you want to stir it really, really well, making sure that there is no clumps in there. I usually use a whisk. Yeah, yeah, it is Then we have to put it on the burner and on slow on low heat. So don't don't make it too fast because it has to all combine and get firm. Continue stirring until it starts to settle and form into this play-doh. And don't leave your eyes off of it because it, it does burn. So you want to keep, definitely have to keep stirring it. Make sure you wear gloves because the plate yeah, is very hot. Very hot. So if you don't have gloves, continue stirring it maybe with a wooden spoon. You can make the flowers. <laughs> yeah, it's ready. Now you have some wonderful play doh. Yeah. Nice big batch for your kids. Yeah, ready. Perfect. Good job, Miss Kati. Thank you.